Greetings folks. Another quick update. That is the shed pad. Turned out pretty swell. I'm pretty happy with it. Already started laying some block there. And uh, I'll show you the next one here if you bear with me. There's our future home. We got one other one. I had actually uh, done a small pad with some overflow concrete uh, on, the, on the pump house just to have a place to put uh, the bladder tank. And uh, I wanted to make sure I had a lot of space around the pump. I've seen a lot of pump houses. They're usually pretty small. And then if you ever end up having to work on them, it's a, it's a real pain in the butt. So I wanted to have a lot of space and uh, maybe even have some room for storage. So uh, this, this will come in handy, I think. And this turned out pretty swell, too. Managed to get it pretty level with the uh, previous pad. And, uh, so far, this well's turned out really, really nice. Been uh, using it for uh, all kinds of stuff. And then uh, the final. Now, one of the reasons I had a pro do this is... Uh, for one thing, I didn't want the hassle. The other thing is, I'd never used a whirly bird before. I've seen it done and seen some pretty nice finishes, really slick. And I made a, a point to David that I wanted it slick because this is going to be our floor. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to make sure that it was slick enough that we could run a dust mop over it. And as it is now, it's, uh, it's a bit slicker because I had him come back out yesterday and he's obviously worked on it some. And he claims he's gonna come back Monday and work on it some more. And I'd have thought that it would have been set up by now. Uh, but he says he can work it, he can take it down and it will be slicker. Um, I broke one of my cardinal rules. I, uh, I paid him before he was actually done. Um, it was pretty much done when I gave him the check, but it was getting pretty late. It was getting really cold. I, I actually uh, got some lights out. We were working well past dark, and he was out here working, working in the lights, uh, having to run the, the truck with the inverter and uh, I think it was just getting too late, too cold. He couldn't see very well. He already had his check. So, uh, yeah, shouldn't be breaking my rules. But he did at least come back out here yesterday, and he'll be back out again uh, tomorrow, uh, hopefully. And hopefully he can get this smoothed out a little bit better. It, it's not horrible but it is certainly not the slickness that I was looking for. He says a lot of the slickness actually comes from the sealer that goes on it, but I think even with that, um, it's not real slick, um, especially along this edge here. It's really, really rough. So, um, let's see here, what else we've we been doing? Uh, well, basically just laying block on the shed. That's, that's what I'm doing while this is setting up. Um, I'm going to pick up some shoring from a place in Georgia uh, this coming week. And uh, it's not cheap. I think it's 500 bucks for the rental for a month. And then they prorate it after that, which really isn't too bad. I was just going to use lumber. But I figure it's going to be a lot easier, a lot straighter, a lot stronger if I just use some good shoring. I actually inquired about shipping, so that way I, I wouldn't have to make the drive, but it's only, it's less than two hours. And it was 500 bucks to ship it here. <laughs> so uh, I guess it would take another 500 to get it back. So I'm just gonna go pick it up. I'm gonna borrow a rent or trailer, a uh, 16 footer or more, and just go pick it up. It's uh, 6,500 pounds, I think is what they said it was. 
So uh, it'd probably take a whole day just to go get that and bring it back and unload it. But uh, yeah, that will be the next project right there, putting those up. And those will actually span without the shoring. Um, we're going to probably put those up first, get them installed. We won't walk on them or anything, but uh, they will span the distance. Those are 26 foot long. Um, I actually ordered them long to cut them to make sure that uh, they were going to fit. Um, but they will span, as I showed you before. They do have steel in them. They, they're pretty stiff. Uh, I, I wouldn't walk on them, but uh, they will stay up. And then I'll shore them once I get them up. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on? It's really just uh, just laying block down there. Uh, that shed is actually turning out to be uh, a pretty good size. I'm pretty happy with what all I could probably fit in there. I mean, between that shed and the pump house... I'll have a fair amount of storage. Uh, at some point, I might might build a pole barn somewhere. Uh, our previous build site, we actually have a, a large level spot over the, on the other side of that ridge over there that we leveled out. That was that was our initial clearing, and it might be, make a good place for a pole barn. It's just so far away, uh, not real convenient, but the fact that it would be. Uh, not disturbing our view very much would be kind of nice. So I guess I guess that'll do it for now, folks. Have a good one.